Mm-hmm. All right, I think we can get started. So uh, thanks so much for uh, being here and accepting our invitation. It's it's a big uh, privilege to to talk to you. Hi, hey there. Hello, everyone. Hey, great to have you here. Uh, how how can I call you? Uh, AVP. You can call me AVP. All right. All right. Cool. Great, great that you could join. So again, uh, thanks so much for joining uh, us here on stage. So this is a series uh, which we've been doing uh, for some time. It's called Build with Guild and basically just having a casual conversation with other builders who, who are using, utilizing either our API, our SDK or our Oracle uh, in any way. Uh, so Guild, as, as you all know, is very modular and, and built to connect uh, to many different parts of the internet. And some of those connections, uh, the core team can build out, but some of those connections are up to other teams, uh, the community, and and basically the rest of the world. So we are always thrilled to, to have uh, builders on who, who decided to build with Guild and, and see some benefit in it. So welcome. Maybe maybe uh, we can start off with uh, just a general introduction of SPECT. Uh, I'm very interested, like, uh, what uh, made you start SPECT? Uh, what was the core idea and what SPECT is now? Sure, yeah. Uh, first of all, yeah, thanks for having us here and giving us uh, the opportunity to present it in front of the community. Um, and yeah, so in, uh, so, Spect basically, uh, what it is is, uh, I mean, I guess before uh, Spect, we could maybe talk a bit about uh, the team. Like, so uh, right now, yeah, Spect is uh, us both, and we are we've been building for a while um, in in Web three. Uh, we both developers by trade, but you know, like in a small team, you sort of gotta like <laughs> do a lot of different things. Um, so the way uh, Spect. Uh, came to be was uh, like uh, realized that a uh, lot of uh, uh, a lot of people are like sort of trying to work uh, more uh, or like get more sovereignty in their work uh, so what that means uh, is like people are uh, like looking looking to uh, uh, like uh, looking to work with sort of, sort of build with friends if i had to sum it up in a sentence you know like um, sort of uh, have the freedom uh, to uh, like have the freedom to like build whatever they want uh, with like the people that they want to be around. Sort of. So um, yeah. So uh, and spec. What we are trying to do is we are uh, like what we call is we we building a playground of coordination tools uh, for DAOs and other Web three orgs to uh, like to coordinate on on things like. Uh, onboarding projects, grants, and other workflows. Uh, so uh, yeah, so right now what we have uh, on spec are uh, like Web3 native forms, uh, and which will be the primary thing that uh, I'll be demoing today. And then other than that, we also have uh, projects and automations. Uh, so these can be used uh, a lot to like uh, share context among, among uh, like these like Teams like community-centric teams, uh, and it can also be used to like automate automate a lot of uh, recurring chores, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, spect in a sentence is basically a playground of coordination tools that allows communities to coordinate and build build stuff. That's very cool. Obviously, we are super interested in the space and 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 trying to augment it uh, in our own way as well. Can, can, can you give us some specific examples? Like what are some of your favorite workflows or use cases you've seen uh, spec being used? So I would say, yeah, I mean, one of the biggest, uh, uh, most like, uh, yeah, uh, like one of, uh, one of the most common uh, is actually like uh, onboarding. And um, so how people are, so uh, yeah, maybe I could share my screen and uh, maybe like, like visually show you how people are setting it up uh, and yeah feel free to
All right. I think it's just a matter of seconds. Yeah. I mean, if you guys can see it. Just building the suspense. Yeah, in the in the meanwhile, if anyone in the audience has any question, just feel free to drop it in the chat. It's even better if you tag me or someone in the conversation so that we we are sure not to miss it. Uh, you not see my screen still? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's still loading for me. I think I think like Discord is still figuring out this feature, like how to broadcast the screen for bigger audiences. I I, I know they 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 just introduced this okay. a couple of months okay. ago. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we, maybe I can go ahead and share it without without the stream for now. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. So your question was yeah, like how communities are currently using it. What's my favorite use case? And I think yeah, one of the biggest one is uh, onboarding. So. Um, a lot of stuff in onboarding today. Um, uh, there, there are several challenges uh, when it comes to onboarding. So, uh, one of like uh, one one big challenge uh, specifically, like uh, in in our industry, is that uh, like we, like because we have created like open communities and we have created sort of um, like, yeah, just uh, like anyone comes through. It's very hard to sort of um, aggregate communities and figure out sort of who. Uh, like uh, how people can go from uh, like just joining a new community and uh, like end up being like uh, core contributors, right? So uh, that's 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 one major uh, issue uh, right now. And uh, so uh, yeah, so what uh, people uh, use spec is uh, use spec for is to actually uh, like automate a lot of that process. Uh, use use the tools created by spec to um, put, uh, learn more about uh, new people joining the community and also uh, like sort of try to put them in the right uh, right areas and help them to uh, sort of build as part of the community. So that's, I would say, one of, uh, one of the most uh, common and probably my Yeah, I think segmentation is a big one in this. So, so basically, I think engagement and just just reaching out to people, getting their first interest, like joining the Discord server, following on Twitter, like that's probably the part that that uh, like most people have been focusing in the past couple of years. But if you actually want to turn them into like power users, contributors, and and drew them inside the community, I think that's 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 the hard part. And also like. One of the most exciting parts uh, we are also trying to focus here at Gil. I think I think in the meanwhile, Discord dragged us. So I'm not sure if there ever gonna be a stream. But uh, yeah, if 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 you have a, a loom or a video, like feel free to drop it in the secret chamber, or or we can drop it for you, or just drop it in the chat and and sure, everyone yeah. can chat. I'll just reshare it once and see if, uh, it if it doesn't. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's give it one more try. Yeah. So, so, so this funnel is super interesting. Like, uh, someone joins. Uh, how to how to involve them? How to engage them? And I guess like you you have a couple of uh, different tools for that. But but the main one is is forms. And uh, can can you tell me like why did you feel the need that that forms are missing from this like Web three community journey? And how did you solve it? Uh, so so like one of the biggest things. Uh... I would say uh, the main uh, like main issues like uh, I guess we can start with why the current forms uh, like are just uh, not fit for Web three uh, yet. Like it's uh, and that's that's basically what uh, uh, created the need for creating Web three forms. So why uh, like why are like uh, Chakra? Uh, the screen is visible now. If you want, you can oh, cool. okay. show it. Yeah, so yeah, if you can see it, great. Otherwise, I'll just uh, narrate it and you will probably uh, understand uh, from that. So uh, yeah, so like what was the problem, right, with current forms? Uh, just 
the questions uh, one of the biggest things was like it, it currently like uh, your, uh, the current firms mostly like work pretty poorly with uh, like wallets and like, on chain decentralized tools right it's it's uh, that's not the, their priority uh, but uh, like i know like we have a lot of uh, a lot of on chain tools we also have a lot of uh, value being created on chain so why not uh, use that and harness that and uh, add that uh, in forms uh, the other is yeah like bots uh, as i was saying earlier right like for onboarding uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, like bots and civil attackers uh, uh, if yeah like if you're a large like community uh, you have to spend a significant amount of your time uh, dealing with this uh, so that is not uh, also like uh, uh, something that comes in built with, with Current forms, and then uh, it's it's uh, not great for incentivized surveys and anonymity, right? Like one of the biggest things about crypto and Web three is that we have uh, like we are figuring out incentivization, how to incentivize people, uh, and uh, like how to distribute that incentivization over a large group of people, right? So uh, th this is something uh, also is not inherently possible with existing funds. So uh, this actually led to uh, like what we uh, we started building uh, this is just a myth if you can see it great it, if you can't it like it's a meme that just says uh, like society of surveys were incentivized anonymous and civil protected and it's the image of you know the, the futuristic society uh, you some of you guys may have seen the image uh, so yeah uh, i know explaining the meme uh, <laughs> i don't know if it if it's uh, as funny as just viewing it, but yeah. It's, it's... I, I, I think it's useful because I, I don't see your screen without yeah. describing, I would have no idea. And maybe some of us are the same. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah it's, it's uh, that. And then um, uh, that's mainly it. I mean, that those were the, those were the issues with current forms, which led us to uh, starting to build something that's more uh, Web3 native and integrates very easily with uh, on-chain data. Uh, does stuff on-chain and uh, uh, like tackles the problem of uh, civil attacks and stuff like that. Yeah. That's perfect. Are you are you also using? Uh, I guess you are using Act for your own community as well uh, to to onboard people. How how does that working? For you. How, how, so we're we're still a small you? community. I would say we're uh, about like just under two hundred. I would say so. It's it's uh, not massive. Uh, the way we have set it up right now is uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, we basically have uh, this thing called a Discord native forms. So uh, Spect allows folks to actually create forms uh, and share it natively on Discord and. As like a lot of you may know that yeah like uh, like most of our communities are very uh, like are primarily using Discord for communication right so uh, with this you can actually um, uh, like not uh, like respond to a form directly from Discord and uh, the way uh, so basically what this does uh, for our communities and some other communities uh, that have set up uh, like Moondao and others uh, basically what what this allows is to reduce the friction to a bare minimum. So uh, when people join join the Discord, they can uh, they can like literally just fill out the onboarding form right from Discord and uh, basically uh, immediately get started. And we have automations as well with which you can actually uh, like uh, sort of uh, like do a lot of stuff. So for example, a, a couple of uh, cool things that are being done is uh, uh, like like when when you get a new new person responding to a form right uh, uh like like when when they create a new response uh like right when they create a new response with automation like people create a new channel for them or uh, sorry like not a channel but for them and then but in that they can sort of you know like give them sort of personal attention uh, uh as they go so this this works really well uh for, for uh, like onboarding and like a lot of uh, lot of us crave personal attention when when uh, you want like when you're getting uh, 
uh, when they're getting started right, in a community. Uh, this is just one way of doing things. You can also choose to just directly give them roles and stuff like that. But yeah, this is like one one thing that's a bit, little different from um, how uh, like how most uh, most forms most workflows are currently. So uh, this is uh, this is something really cool. And then uh, uh, the other thing with this also uh, like with, with the onboarding uh, form is that you can actually collect on-chain data along with uh, like, like things like memberships you can collect that uh, directly from forms so if someone's coming in so let's say like someone comes in and joins the community you know like uh, we can uh, sort of understand uh, directly from the form response uh, which other communities uh, they're part of so like uh, yeah, so we can easily tell if like uh, the values uh, like aligned or the mission, like they're working towards similar things or stuff like that. So that is yeah, that is another pretty cool thing I would say. Mm -hmm. These two, uh, yeah, are uh, quite valuable. Uh, so again, specifically for onboarding. Yeah, that's that's super exciting. Uh, can, can you tell us a few words about how Guild comes into the picture? So if someone has a community and using Guild in combination with Discord, like how can they make use of spec the best way? Like how how, how do they connect in the Guild roles? What can you do with them? Yeah, yeah sure. So uh, so first of all, uh, yeah, so there, there are multiple ways actually Guild's being used. So uh, first, uh, what we had uh, for a while was uh, this thing called role gating. Uh, not token gating, uh, not uh, like uh, not NFT gating, nothing like that. It's it's role gating. So uh, what this allows is basically for communities to create uh, like targeted surveys and uh, like basically feedback forms. So like let's say in a guild, like uh, you want to create a feedback form just for the core, uh, like for a specific role holder. Uh, this is actually ideal for uh, for for that. Uh, so. That's one way, uh, which uh, which how Guild, Guild, the Guild SDK specifically is integrated, uh, and this again works both on your uh, like on forms uh, on spec and also uh, the forms on Discord. Uh, so that's that's the first one, and then the second thing that is actually like very recently got added was uh, the community membership part that I was talking about. So one of the uh, coolest thing I think that Guild uh, allows. Uh, is basically when someone comes in and joins uh, your community, uh, you can like figure out uh, easily that like yeah, what what other communities they're part of. Um, I know like you can do this on Discord as well, uh, but uh, like I would say it's it's a bit different, right? Like uh, I, I wouldn't say roles on Guild map one to one with uh, with roles on Discord always. Um, so yeah, so we have actually gone with Guild just because it's uh, you know like uh, you can you can uh, do a lot of stuff uh, with like uh, Guild basically aggregates all of the on-chain uh, data uh, for that person and gives them a specific role, uh, and uh, that role can be collected uh, uh, with the response and not just for one community but all communities on Guild. So yeah, so let's say I, I went and submitted a form, you would know like. Which, which communities uh, I'm a part of on Guild and what roles I hold. Yeah, that's really cool. So, so, so basically, to sum it up, SPAC acts uh, as a reward in the in the Guild model. So if you fulfill some requirements and based on that hold some roles, then you can access some, uh, some questionnaires and surveys. Uh, and the other way is to just uh, provide insights uh, exactly. on membership of yes. other committees, and and that can be useful for admins as well. I I think I think that like the first part is uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great. Uh, it's also yeah. a little bit obvious, if if I might say, uh, in in a good way. So yeah, it 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 makes a lot of sense that you you started with that. But I think the second part is also very very interesting, and and I'm pleased to see that. Right. Uh, that you are using Guild in in that way, I I guess I guess maybe like the third iteration could be that if you fill out a questionnaire in a certain way or if you fill out a questionnaire at all, like that could be yeah, that's, at some that's point one, a requirement one thing on Guild that as well. Can be done like uh, filling out a questionnaire. You can 
uh, like yeah, like basically give out uh, roles on guild automatically. That's one thing. Another cool thing I was thinking about, and I would love to get your yeah. all your like, like uh, feedback is why don't like uh, like we could use uh, guild like that guild aggregates for people like when they join a new community to be able to like. Uh, immediately be able to find like three to five friends within the community and like you know like i don't know go for a hackathon or something together uh, because as i was saying earlier right like you can uh, when someone fills out a form uh, you can optionally collect like all the member uh, like all the guild memberships and you know, like you could maybe find friends within the community for them mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a very interesting idea to to kind of match make people all, uh, because I guess if you, we are talking about this funnel, if you first join a, a community and then you want to become like a super user, a core contributor, uh, someone core to that community, then it probably has to go together with someone, have like a body system, something like that, or or maybe just find like-minded people and maybe you will branch out from that community to somewhere else, but but you know, a community can be a place of connection. I, I, I really like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah happy to, happy yeah, to brainstorm around really that. Yeah, really like we just been like uh, thinking about something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you can can you tell us a little bit like I, we have we have a big audience here and uh, and probably there are many fellow builders here who 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 are building, uh, you know, to 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 make up uh, some some missing parts of of Web3 social uh, today. So how how it was the experience of working with the guild sdk anything we should improve there uh or, or i mean any i think input, the guild sdk uh, is like it really uh simplifies a lot of the development um it's uh yeah it's very intuitive easy to understand and like i think uh it should be possible for any builder to get started and build with uh build with guild right <laughs> um Things I think, yeah, like in terms of uh, like, especially right now, there are so many communities and thing like uh, you know, like fetching community data uh, from Guild. That uh, sort of stuff, uh, like if I had to speak in a more technical level, uh, has to be done. Uh, like, uh, like asynchronously, it, it takes a while, you know, uh, those API calls because right now I think uh, uh, the batch, uh, like batching, is not there. You can't batch multiple community IDs together. So it's one by one, uh, which is OK. I think that's that's one thing. I, I think like that's probably because it's just, like, yeah, there's so many communities on Guild right now, right? So it's, it's sort of like uh, the scalability aspect uh, is like sort of, yeah, I mean, that's I know, hard, a hard problem. But other than that, it's like it's, uh, <laughs> it was very easy uh, and very intuitive to get started and just figure it out. and I. Don't even think I actually like met a developer from Guild yet. Uh, it's that easy. Like you don't have to really like ask for support or anything. It's it's yeah. It's good. get started very easily. Amazing. Uh, you, you will be pleased to hear that actually our team is working on an API upgrade right now. And uh, yeah, there will be quite a few optimizations to to make sure that we can we can serve uh, integrations and 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 other front ends and Definitely. and more and more builders uh, faster right. and in a more efficient way. So yeah, we uh, we will definitely be in touch with that upgrade soon. Uh, cool. Uh, in the, in the meanwhile, I've seen that uh, there were. Probably some questions. Yeah, here here is one question from the chat. How does Spex Playground of Coordination tool specifically address the challenges of maintaining a shared sense of context among contributors and combating the presence of mercenaries and bots within the crypto native organizations? So uh, if 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 you scroll up uh, just a little bit, uh, ODE XYZ has this question and. Uh, it's 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 a loaded but great question. I, I I guess the essence of it is that how can you make sure that respect uh 
the members are more aligned and and you not only uh kind of look out uh, the boat but also kind of the 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 mercenaries who are not really there uh right. in alignment yeah. so uh, yeah so two things the first is how do you maintain a like context really like shared sense of context and like uh yeah so for that actually uh we uh, we have two different things we have uh, uh like on top of spec funds, we also have the, the spec projects and automations. Uh, what this allows is basically for different uh, different members within the community to coordinate on uh, from tasks to contacts to new new onboardies, uh, right? So existing members can uh, use use this like it, uh, to uh, like keep track uh, of different stuff, and it can be so it, it like it can be a shared sense of context. Uh, among multiple people and uh, the, like the cool thing about about this uh, also is that it uh, uh, like it can scale to a large community so like let's say you have like a, i don't know like a hundred people uh, or whatever thousand people even like with uh, like 10 member uh, project teams or 10 member uh, uh, like work stream skills uh, right? so if you if you can actually uh, uh, do all of this and still maintain a shared sense of context uh, because uh, like uh, like on spec like spec basically goes uh, multiple levels deep so you can like easily scale scale and uh, scale your community that way in terms of um uh, yeah in, t- in terms of uh, like the civil protection aspect uh, or like protecting uh, communities from bots uh, uh, the, the biggest way right now on spec to do that is actually our uh, like we have a plugin uh, for Gitcoin Passport as well. And uh, with Gitcoin Passport, you actually inherently can, um, uh, like you can, uh, you have the full customizability to uh, uh, to set various different uh, scores on, on passport stamps. So if, for people who don't know what Gitcoin Passport is, it's it's basically, uh, you can you can think of it as a, uh, like, you can basically think of it as a passport with, with different stamps and uh, those stamps uh, include uh, like anything things like uh, on-chain ownership to your uh, off-chain web to uh, social accounts uh, so as you get more stamps uh, you increase your score and uh, one of the reasons by gitcoin passport by uh, we added gitcoin passport was because you need to secure uh, like like grants right gitcoin grants which is uh, as some of you may know i did uh, uh, distributes a large amount of uh, of uh, of money among uh, different projects. So, uh, so yeah, we're we're working closely with with the passport team to uh, inherently like add civil protection uh, to to communities, uh, and this can be done in multiple different ways. You can do it on the onboarding itself, like right from the onboarding setup. You can add uh, add this plugin, and when people join you can know that yeah like uh, like you, you can you can easily like sort of uh, filter bots out bots and like civil attackers out uh, so yeah mm-hmm. yeah totally makes sense uh, yeah we we are also big fans of of gitcoin passport and and good friends with the gitcoin team so i think i think that that's the right choice uh nice and uh what's what's next for spect uh where do you want to see spect in like a year or two uh what what are some of the uh, yeah things so i would say really the, excited about? the immediate next thing that we're really excited about is uh, sort of automating more and more chores uh organizations chores that people actually uh, are like active contributors have to do but don't really want to do so stuff like that uh so uh yeah so one of one of the examples one of the things that we're working on we were hoping to be able to demo this actually but it's okay i can maybe speak a little bit about it uh, uh, and this is basically uh this lets communities create um like create interactive announcements uh along with quizzes and all of this can be done automatically uh with your communities, uh, with context about about the community itself, 
So like for example, for guild, uh, if I if I take guild as an example, uh, guild could uh, like like basically uh, like uh, yeah. So like uh, well, maybe like yeah, all of you already know, but yeah, guild uh, upload like creates uh, content in various different platforms, right? On a, on a, I, I think uh, it, just uh, show it then. Me, let me so, try sharing. Basically, what this what this does is, uh, yeah, I, I can maybe give a gist, and then yeah, you can share it, and if people. And, yeah, let me try. So basically, what this does is it pulls data from um, Hills, YouTube, Reddit, uh, mm. Mirror, so stuff that's getting updated on a weekly, bi-weekly cadence, and. Uh, it automatically, actually, uh, based on this data, it summarizes it and uh, creates uh, interactive announcements with uh, quizzes. So that's that's the goal. We are we, it is a very early earlier version. If we uh, does get a chance to show it, uh, but the the goal with this is basically to um, like uh, like to basically automate away a lot of the chores, uh, but yet like do it in a way such that people have the freedom to uh, change it or update it. So this is this is something cool that we're currently working on. Um, and yeah, I think uh, over time, more and more, uh, more and more contributors can sort of upgrade. Uh, if you know what I mean, upgrade in the sense like they can uh, do what's, uh, I would say like, uh, like more uh, like uh, more advanced or more more things that they like to do uh, instead of the things that they don't. That's the goal of this. That's really cool. I uh, unfortunately I still cannot see the stream, but but hopefully. Uh, but but this sounds super exciting and and I'm looking forward to to play around with it and see what we can do with it. Uh, nice. I think uh, we can slowly open up question time. So if you if you guys have any questions regarding either spect or anything being talked about or just the guild SDK, how to build with guild, how to get support in the process, just feel free to drop in all the queues. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe one last question in the meanwhile, or maybe two last questions in the meanwhile. One is, uh, I, I like to ask these uh, partners, either be committees on Guild or people who we are integrated with, uh, if you could focus the Guild team on one specific thing right now, what would it be? So if, if, if you were in charge of the Guild roadmap, like what would you prioritize to the first place? I'm really interested to hear that. Good question. I would say one of the biggest things probably is, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is a, a curveball. No pressure. <laughs> I didn't expect this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say like, uh, well, the biggest things <laughs> even that uh, is, I would say, closer to the infrastructure, uh, like there, right? Uh, is uh, like, I guess, like really getting the APIs uh, highly performant and like uh, basically, uh, yeah, I mean, more and more people can build on the same uh, layer of roles. You know, uh, same layer of roles, and that, I think, uh, and also write to the same layer of roles. Uh, that way, it's like, like creates a large, large network value, like for the whole, uh, whole ecosystem. So that is uh, number one. I think that comes to mind right now. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, thanks. And so, 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 sorry for putting you on the spot. Uh, and it, it makes a lot of sense. 
again, I'm happy to tell you that like this is actively being worked on. So so very soon our API will be will be much more performant than it is right now. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. And the final final question is uh, if people are intrigued, interested, or even excited about Spect, uh, what should they do next? Where should they find you? How should they get involved? Uh, uh, I would say, yeah, I prefer Discord. Is it, is it Twitter, Twitter or is it Discord? Works, what, yeah, what's Discord, the best route to, uh, to find you? And learn more. Always, uh, find me. Uh, uh, see me online <laughs> a lot of the time. So yeah, just reach out and say hi. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then let me know how I can help. Uh, if you need help with setting up onboarding or community surveys or anything other like any other workflows if you're trying to automate something yeah i can uh yeah don't hesitate to reach out i can definitely help out with, with stuff like this <laughs> amazing getting onboarded to the onboarding tool that's that's quite a meta experience so guys, uh, thanks so much for, for being here. It was superb. I, I really enjoyed the conversation. Uh, and I think I will hand back the mic to Hannah because we have some pull-ups coming up, which is proof of attendance. And you've been here, you deserve it. So here it goes. Oh, yes. I just want to say uh, thank you everyone for joining us today and a huge thank you to Chucks and AVP from SPECT for sharing, you know, your amazing project with us and all the possibilities that you have with SPECT. And also, I just want to say special thanks to Bernard for leading the conversation and Norby to make this event possible. He left the stage, but I know that like he's in the audience now. We hope you all enjoyed like learning about SPECT and hearing more about the Guild SDK. So without further ado, let's head into the pop. As a token of our appreciation, we have a pop waiting for everyone in our guild who wants to remember this event on chain. So if you just head over to our guild or you just go to the secret chamber where you can find the embedded message, you just have to click mint pop and then you will have the pop for yourself. Thank you again and see Thanks you at the next event. Guys. See you.